Hello, it's Scott Manley here. Today I thought I would take a moment to take a look at the multiplayer capabilities in Kerbal Space Program. Now, I've done multiplayer in Kerbal Space Program by sharing saved files since, oh, back a long, long time. As soon as docking came out, one of the first projects I did was a shared save file, uh, the Goon Station 1 project. But uh, that's all slow and offline. There was a, something else called Kessler, which is kind of asynchronous multiplayer. The idea was that the ships would all appear in a, a shared save state, but the you know you wouldn't be able to fly them and see the interactions immediately. Of course, the holy grail of multiplayer is real life interaction, real time interaction, and for that you have dark multiplayer, which itself is more or less derived from Kerbal multiplayer. So dark multiplayer is a mod which you install, and when you start up you can use it to connect to a server instead of starting a game, and everybody ends up on the same server. Now of course, uh, this has all sorts of interesting uh, ramifications when you start to think about the problems of time warp and uh, there's different ways you can configure that. I I'm actually just trying some atmospheric flying here next to my... Uh, well, over the weekend I was taking care of some of Orion's friends. We were all flying around on a Kerbal multiplayer server and this is one of his friends here zipping around in a, an Aeris 3A and I'm just trying to get relatively close to him so I can get a good look. Now uh, the updates happen about five times a second with a fifth, you know, fifth of a second tick. However, uh, in between the, get the physics engine is trying to interpolate but it still doesn't look quite as smooth as I would like. I'm not sure if there's something very specific that I'm doing wrong here. The server is running on the same host as my uh, as the instance which is rendering this. There's certainly lots of CPU available, but uh, it doesn't ever really get smooth at any point. Nevertheless, I can get close enough to actually see that he is indeed flying a very jittery Aeris and uh, heading off towards the mountain. So I'm, of course, trying to get in close. I like... It is really quite marvellous seeing that uh, smoke trail there coming off from his engine. Obviously he hasn't got his fuel mixture right if he's producing that much smoke, but uh, never mind. Now, when I actually tried this, I found that it was slowing my game by about 50%. So I have just decided to scrap what I had and, yeah, you see you have weird fake explosions and stuff happening there. It seems very confused. This is the latest version of the of the mod as as you know made available in the thread. I'm not sure if this is representative behavior, but I'll tell you what, I don't I've done uh, multiplayer a few times and it has always been this glitchy. So as far as I'm concerned, this is what you expect in multiplayer at least inside the atmosphere. Now, if you uh, go outside the atmosphere, things tend to work a little better because Nobody is really flying around at such high speeds, at least such high speeds relative to each other. There's not the atmosphere adding extra forces to this, the spacecraft and the aircraft. So everything is generally a little more sedate. The hard part, of course, with being outside the atmosphere is you have to get close to your target. And uh, you have to get within 8 kilometers, I believe, before the data is propagated between the, the two different clients. Outside that range, I believe everything stays on rails. Anyway, rather than do anything serious, we pretty much just flew aircraft around. I tried to match him in this climb. I actually was able to climb faster than him, but uh, trying to actually get close at the same time was a little bit of a challenge just trying to figure out the 3D geometry of the way he's trying to go versus the way I'm pointing. And uh, yeah, then the speed would suddenly kick in for some reason. We, we would go from fast to slow and slow to fast. It didn't seem particularly uh, reliable. So anyway, after all that, I decided I was going to return to base. But then I remembered that uh, Lappy, also known as Orion, had decided to launch something from the runway and then jump out. Therefore, leaving a bunch of debris on the runway. So funny thing is that I can't actually see the runway, or can't actually see the debris on the runway at this time. There's some weird consistency issues, I guess. I, at this point, um, the other individual decided he was going to launch, and suddenly you see all the debris spawning in on the runway. 
there's a dude trying to take off and of course piling into all this debris things are exploding you know, maintaining server consistency is actually quite a complicated process and I'm completely unsurprised that the, the server has issues, especially when time warp is also available. When, you know, the only way to get out is to revert to the, to your, uh, revert to the space center, right? And then you're doing a time shift and then you need to, of course, correct for that. It's a... Uh, it really does not lend itself well to multiplayer, which is why I'm amazed that this mod actually does as well as it, it does. And there's quite a lot of servers out there, and plenty of modded servers. A lot of people do like to just build up the servers and put guns on their planes and fly around and dogfight. Anyway, yeah, Princely Titan, I guess that's the name that he decided to use. You see him spawning in on an albatross this time. The albatross is, of course, a lot of... Uh, it flies at lower speed, so uh, it's a lot easier. <laughs> yeah, it explodes there, and then it comes back, and it, it's all confused, but finally it does work. Now, interesting thing to note about the albatross. Well, what I'm trying to do here, you see I'm turning very hard. I'm, I've am i cut my uh, thrust, and what I'm just simply trying to do is slow my aircraft down enough by making very hard turns to bleed off velocity so I can actually... Uh, start to try to fly next to him. Now, uh, the Albatross, if you've ever flown it, you'll know that the wings are very, very flexible. So, uh, <laughs> you can see as I come in close that the, the wings don't flex quite as much as they normally do. Also, it does seem to bounce up and down a lot, and I think that's because he generates this weird oscillation mode that's uh, driven by those wings flexing up and down. But the flexure on the wings doesn't actually come through to me very often. What, what we get is every fifth of a second we get a position update on the aircraft and then the physics engine takes over for one fifth of a second and in that time the wings will flex up from their neutral position to their you know one fifth of a second of forces position and uh, as soon as that's finished they will flip back into position. There, yeah, there you go, more, more flipping up and down. And, uh, I think the, the Albatross is like, it is almost a worst case scenario for this multiplayer mod because so much of its motion is driven by the physics of the model flexing and as I understand it, the, uh, the position of the general ship is what's transmitted rather than the position of every single part and of course in Kerbal Space Program, spacecraft and models aren't really, you know, monolithic items. They are essentially a collection of parts flying in very close formation, constrained by the joint forces, right? Anyway, yes, speaking of flying in formation, watch this cool move. I'm gonna pull up next to him, and then I'm gonna do, like, some fancy aerobatic maneuver over his top. Look at that, eh? Brilliant stuff. Totally meant to do that, huh? In fact, I think that deserves an action replay. Watch as I pull up hard and then immediately turn the opposite direction, do it performing one and a half rolls and arrest my lateral motion. I'm sure some pilot out there will tell me that there is an official designation for such a maneuver. Okay, so of course, we've got multiple players. Can I collide with them? Yes, of course I can. Can I do some, well, let's see. I'm gonna try and move in here and see if I can disrupt his control by knocking his plane. There, you see that? Knocked off? Oh dear. Well, that didn't quite do what I expected. Moreover, uh, yeah, after knocking his tail off and knocking part of his wing off, his, uh, th that never got communicated to his client. So, uh, actual collisions seem to be somewhat dubiously passed along here. And of course, after I crash, it gets switched over back to that craft. And you can see, it is missing one piece of its tailplane, but that's about it. Uh, I think uh, this thing is just turning into a you know, odd attitude because the pilot isn't very good, to be honest. So after all the kids had gone home, I thought I'd have a, a little go again, this time with a more level-headed co-pilot. So yeah, both of these aircraft are actually being flown by me on two different machines. Uh, yeah, thank goodness for stability assist, because otherwise I would have a hard time holding everything le level here. 
Now what I want to do, I've got the landing gear down. I actually want to see if I can very gently kind of put my landing gear on top of the target here. So it's actually kind of hard, uh, especially since the aircraft just decides to completely vanish. <laughs> I swear I never touched him! <laughs> Uh, also, a fun fact is both aircraft are being flown by Alfred Kerman. Or Al Aldfred, sorry, Aldfred Kerman. <laughs> there, and a big explosion, and at the sound of the explosion, the, the spacecraft just reappeared. At least the core did. <laughs> oh, yes, this is. Uh, oh, there we go, it brought the whole thing back. So now, now I can, of course, go back in once again and try to position myself in a position so that it looks like I'm mating with the albatross. I mean, the heiress is mating with the albatross, obviously. I mean, come on, don't tell me you've never wondered where little planes come from. There we go, bring, bring it over, just ever so carefully here. There, look, landed! Oh dear! And once again, it evaporated. How did I lose a whole wing there? Yeah, well, uh, I don't think this is gonna last, go particularly well. It's, uh, if I'd lost one of my, if I'd lost both of my wings, I think I could have survived. I do have another video which I need to edit together where uh, I lose both wings of an aircraft and still successfully land it. But this is not that video. So yeah, this is Dark Multiplayer. Uh, it's worth checking out. Uh, there are many, many servers out there. Give them a go. I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.